Well, the polls indicate and the local election results from last week indicate that in England there is going to be a landslide for the Conservatives. The question for us here in Wales is what happens to Wales. The Scots have a strong voice in the SNP to advocate for the Scottish national interest. Theresa May is effectively the leader of the National Party of England now. So it's up to Plaid Cymru to be the strong voice for Wales that we need as we leave the European Union. What about Labour's role? Well, Labour are divided and split and are unable to oppose the Tories. They've, uh, so far, since the referendum last June, pretty much ignored and neglected Wales. And many people don't want to vote for a party that is split and don't want to vote for MP candidates that are ready to stab their leader in the back. And that's why uh, if Wales is to be defended, protected and developed after this election, it's down to a strong block of Plaid Cymru MPs to do that. What do you say to those who say your manif manifesto sounded like one of fear, based on fear, in that you suggested that there would be a power grab should the Tories get that landslide you suggest? That's based on evidence. If you look at the Great Repeal Bill that came out, Clause 4.2 clearly states that there are powers that are currently held in Brussels of a devolved competence in areas such as agriculture, the environment and transport that Westminster politicians intend to grab back those powers from Brussels. Brussels to Westminster and not allow them to come to Cardiff. And so we've put forward the case for a stronger National Assembly here, an Assembly that is equipped with the powers to tackle the challenges that we face here in Wales, not least our economic challenges. But we don't have those powers as yet. And this election is a perfect opportunity for us to put the case for a stronger National Assembly as well. And, and partly because of that meltdown you describe in the Labour Party. But what do you say to those who say, well, actually, there's very little difference between your policies and the Labour policies? I would dispute that. Plaid Cymru is all about Wales and making sure that Wales is strong in the future. Labour have largely ignored Wales. Of course, we've got uh, Labour here in Wales, which is a different party to Welsh Labour in Westminster, which is again a different party to the, the leader of the Labour Party. This is the problem facing many people in Wales. If they want to vote Labour, they're not entirely sure which Labour Party they'll be voting for. You made gains in the local elections. What, what for you would be a good result in this general election? An increase in the number of MPs that we have. What we need is a strong block of Plaid Cymru MPs in order to make sure that the defence of the Welsh nation and Welsh people and our public services are on the political agenda in a way that they're not now. We lost one seat just by 200 votes in the last election. I'm very much hoping that we will retake that seat. My predecessor, Ian Wynne-Jones, is the candidate there, a very strong candidate. But there are other seats that we are looking to do well in as well, seats we did well in in the local elections, like the Rhonda, where I represent at the, lo at the National Assembly, like Llanelli, Caffili, Neath, Blaenau Gwent. These are all seats which we did well in the local elections and we hope to build on those results and build that momentum towards June the 8th.